be doing a story time video, my first one. A lot of you guys probably don't know, I used to live in Japan until I was eight years old. So, um, yeah, I have a lot of fun stories about that. So I'm going to be telling you guys one that all of my friends know, basically it's like their favorite book. Let's get into the story time. So in Japan, there are vending machines everywhere. And I mean everywhere, like you turn a corner, and there's like a vending machine right there and they have like all sorts of vending machines like cold drinks hot drinks usually in the same vending machine too that's really cool and there's just like you can basically find anything and my brother was obsessed with the thought like take a coin pop it in a machine press a button and then whatever you want just falls out of the bottom so he was obsessed with vending machines my dad was in he was still in Japan but like he was on a business trip and my mom or a dance convention because she is a dance teacher so she had to find somebody to watch me and my brother and on our way to our aunt's house on my dad's side of the family um, because that's who we, we said us um, on our way there my brother saw even a vending machine so just keep in mind, we saw a vending machine on the way to my aunt's house. So when we got there, we were just, um, we said goodbye to our mom and then she head off to the dance convention. And we were just chilling, you know, hanging out and stuff, just watch like Spongebob. And like, you get to that point where those same episodes like start going over and over again. And we were getting super bored. So my brother had this genius idea to escape. Escape. So he went up to my, and we were like three or four, something like that. So um, we were really young. And he went up to my aunt and said, hey, can we go to the park? And she was like, yeah, sure, whatever. They live in an apartment complex and we had the um, apartment was like over here like this is the apartment this is a busy busy road and then the park was like right here so it was like a park to the comp um the complex so there are windows on this side so you could see out to the park that was right here so and then the busy road right here so she was like, yeah, because she was hanging up her um, clothes outside in the window anyway, so she'll just watch us go down to the park and just watch us play. So we went down. She wasn't even watching us this time, but we ran around the corner into the busy road and we crossed the street onto the other side of this busy road. And thank goodness we did not get hit by a car because it was like busy, busy road. Like cars zooming in. Like, going crazy so we crossed the street and I really had to go and um, I don't know why I didn't think about this before I left so I went in front of the bus by this point we're still just walking walking and it's like late lunchtime so we got really hungry so we went to this restaurant this little restaurant and um, we sat down and then just ordered kids kids meal like spaghetti you know we had some spaghetti and we're eating and then like people just watching us like what are these kids doing without their parents they're just like eating here alone like where are their parents <laughs> so we're just eating enjoying our meals you know um, 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 um. and we get up to leave so we hear excuse me you have to pay for that in japanese of course so my brother being the absolute savage he is he ran he booked it in that door he just left me there so i was just like i ran too <laughs> i just ran after him too and i just so we were running and running and running between the restaurant incident to what I'm gonna talk about next is just like I don't remember anything. We were probably still running, like taking short um, breaks. Nobody was following us. We were just scared. We thought that we just broke the law. Basically, we did, but like we were three and four, like I said before. So we were just running and running, and then so 
this time it's like nighttime and around this time um, probably like a few hours before um, my mom had called um, up on our aunt to see like how it was going like can we check on him like um, and she was like oh they're fine they're napping yeah they're like here and they you don't want to wake them up you know they're taking a long nap so maybe you can call later and stuff but she already knew we were gone she just didn't want to tell my mom so I'm pretty sure she already found my mom found out later but um, yeah they were starting to send like um, I don't I wouldn't say like amber alerts just more like you know on the intercoms of like around the town wherever we were um, like hey watch out for like two black kids running around <laughs> like four or three and um you know we were probably easy to spot because you know japan two black kids you know we were out of nowhere so we went to this convenience store 7-eleven the 7-elevens in japan versus america like i came to when we came to america i was so disappointed because 7-eleven Elevens in Japan are so like neat. They have like fresh meals and stuff and like it's so glowy and bright and pretty And then when I went to 7-eleven in America, I'm like Oh Okay, okay So anyways, we went to 7-eleven and we got inside and on the like the doors um, on the side there there are usually like posters showing you like the new things that they've added or like um, just like new meals or new snacks or whatever and on this big poster by the um, door it had a chocolate ch strawberry chocolate it was basically just strawberry flavored chocolate so it was really cool so I got inside and I really wanted that so I just booked it straight into the um, the candy section and I found it and we still didn't know anything about paying for what you want so i just grabbed it and started eating it and we were trying to leave but then the cashier was like you have to pay for that like give us some money and um uh, the whole reason why we left by the way i forgot to um say this but the whole reason why we left was because my brother on our way um to that um to the babysitting um, where we we're gonna be dropped off at our aunt's house he saw that vending machine and this whole way he didn't know directions or whatever we went the opposite way of where the um, vending machine was like we went this way the vending machine was probably this way and we were just looking for it like I didn't know I was I just thought we were on an adventure because I was obsessed with Dora and I was like yes do to do to do Dora we on an adventure to find the vending machine so um Israel was just leaning the way you know so speaking of vending machines at the convenience store my brother wanted like he was just arguing with this cashier he was like oh my god we don't have to pay this but like in gibberish because like who is four he was like we don't have to pay this I don't have to <laughs> but um so then we hear and we look out the door and there's a cop car and then the back seat opens up and it's our aunt and we just run to her we give her like the hugs and stuff i'm pretty sure my dad and my mom were in the car too in the back seat so we're just long trip all the way back to my aunt's house and i feel bad for my mom and dad because i bet they have to like figure out where we went and like have to pay for everything that we like stole but we were three and four you know like we probably knew better but like we didn't get in trouble for it <laughs> but that was quite an adventure that whole day it was very very fun but i do not recommend r um, running away that's it for that story time but i hope you guys enjoyed um yes and this is just part one of my series that i'm trying to make of more stories from japan um because i lived in japan so 
there's definitely more adventures that I would like you guys to know about. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment what you want to see next. If you want more Japanese story times or do you just want my regular, you know, vlogs and stuff. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs>